Hello, everybody, and uh, the festive season is on, and so do many offers. And so today we will be discussing about some of these really affordable laptops for your data science journey. And if you're a student, believe me, these these are just amazing. So I'm just surfing through Amazon, and I found something really important. So, so I felt like sharing this with you for 2021, you know, bumper deal. So, so it's a kind of a breaking news, you know, affordable uh, laptops for data science students in India, best prices and offers. And also, with, you know, uh, with all the specifications, which I have already, you know, mentioned in the previous uh, related videos on the laptop specifications and hardware and configurations that you should have for your laptop. Minimum requirements, if you're really looking for a data science, working on you know, various projects of deep learning or machine learning on that laptop. So go ahead and see that. Um, laptop specification video because that is a basic thing that you need to know and also that machine learning tutorials if you want to build and start your machine learning journey so okay so let me uh, take you to the website without delay and um, show, you, uh, show you some of the really amazing um, yes uh, so I start with uh, the Amazon website and what I write here is Ryzen 5 processor and 4500 U laptop, all right? Just simply write this, and you will be directed towards uh, to this site. So you can see the range, it is coming like from 54,000, 50,000. So this is the Indian festival, uh, like deal, 50,990 from 68,000. This is a really nice laptop, and this is having all the specifications. 15.6 inch thin and light laptop, 8 GB, that is a basic standard requirement for your uh, RAM. 512 GB SSD. You have got SSD, you don't have HDD. So that is a good thing. It will be processing faster. So that is what we are looking forward. And yes, this is here. And for the specifications, you can just see here that it meets all these things. And this is under budget. Okay, the big, best deal. Okay. The another one which I want to tell you is this Dell. Dell Bostro C400, but this is 14 inch. And another thing is that it is TB. Okay, that's why it is a little uh, on a lesser price. That is 56,750. But uh, I would recommend that it is also having 256 GB SSD also. But uh, taking a mix is also fine. But if you if you go for only SSD, that is much better. So this Dell Lenovo, I am not that much in favor of. But uh, within the budget, it was also there. If you are a Dell lover, then Dell, yes, I there's a laptop for Dell also in this budget. Another laptop is HP Pavilion 15 Ryzen. Now this is having everything we need. Okay, so this is having 512 GB SSD, which I told this is a minimum requirement. 8 GB RAM, and okay, this is thin, slim, and the another thing is that it has got many ports. That that is what I like. You know, see, you've got many ports in here for different uh, USBs. And another thing which I want to tell you is that this comes with different kind of combination of RAMs. So you can choose as per your budget. Okay. This is uh, coming in core processor also in Ryzen also. So I would pro prefer Ryzen because Ryzen is more of a multitasking processor rather than core, which is, uh, which focuses on, you know, multitasking. It, it specializes in thing, but Ryzen is, you know, good for multitasking because now things are more for multitasking. You need multi-threads, you need multiple tasks to do. Now, another thing which I want to, you just, when you just scroll down, you would find related searches, but on a higher range. So if you're looking for something which is like more than 70,000, 90,000, your budget exceeds, then I can come up with a different video for those laptops. But this, I will be restricting, limited to 70,000, that's all, 50 to 70,000. Acer, this is the one which I was eyeing for. And now it has its price has been reduced. I was really this was in my add to cart. 89,000, 90,000 laptop now has been reduced to 58,990. Amazing deal. You can save 31,000. This is the laptop which I was really looking for. This is a gaming laptop, a little bulky, 2.515 kgs. So this is really heavy. And it, it the, the thing is that it, it produces a lot of noise because of the cooling fans and because of the high processor and the speed and everything that it requires, you know, the thermal energy. Now, uh, you can see here that this is 8 GB and 512 GB SSD. 
and 4 GB graphics. We have got NVIDIA. And like this is the perfect, you know, this is like if you have this budget, blindly go for this. This this is this is Acer has come up with a really nice laptop and all specifications for data science. And also if you're into gaming and you the only one is left in stock. Oh my god. So I must I must buy this. Okay. So this is the, the this is the laptop which uh, is really I mean uh, this is the hero of all the champion. Now another is HP Pavilion, which is also on the similar range. This is sixty thousand again, a gaming laptop. And what I will say is, uh, its graphics are really good. But the thing is that it is having H one TB storage, but it is HDD hard disk drive. So I have dealt with all. What does this mean? The disk space and storage. So I wouldn't recommend going for HDD rather than rather go for SDD. Okay, smart disk drive. And it saves your processor a whole lot of energy and please, uh, this will really kill your processor over a long time because so much of resources are being utilized of the processor that uh, it's like it's like uh, you're burdening it, you know, it's like you're, you're forcing it to work so much. So you don't have to actually when it could be done with SDD. So I would reject this. Uh, next, coming on to another laptop, which is of Lenovo. And this is again a gaming Intel. And this is a gaming three Intel Core i5 10th generation, 15.6 inches. And again, you've got the specification, which is I think this 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 should be met. 8 GB, 512 SSD, and uh, the NVIDIA, NVIDIA, and it should be 4 GB card. Okay, because graphics is really required when you're gaming or you are into that uh, you know um, visualization thing. So this really adds a lot of lot of. Um, uh, takes off more burden from CPU because graphic processing unit is doing all that. Thank you. Okay, so this is again in the range of 60,890, but this is a very good, very good laptop from Lenovo. And yes, uh, Acer, if not Acer, go for Lenovo. And the best deal is under budget, like 50,000 Asus. Okay. And then I come to HP Pavilion again. HP has launched a range of gaming laptops, which are really nice. Even I am using HP laptop right now. And uh, uh, this is again, I have, uh, this is, uh, I'm using a Ryzen 3, this is third generation, but I'm not running any deep learning uh, um, algorithms or, you know, projects on this because it really consumes a lot of uh, processor time. And this is HDD, this is not SDD. So there's another difference. That's why I'm looking for SDD. And so that I can go on and um, implement my TensorFlow and different deep learning uh, algorithms there. Okay, so um, what, I what I want to say is that this is again HDD. So um, I wouldn't recommend you to go for HDD, okay? I would tell you that please go for SDD because um, it gives you a longer life. It is more durable, it is more stable, and this really helps you to complete your task really fast. Okay, so this thing I would not recommend. Next is, uh, wow, this is uh, one of the laptop again, which I would uh, I would really recommend if, if your budget is a little higher, this is 70,990 again, but this is a really good laptop. It is again having all the specifications, 8 GB, 5 and 2 GB SSD and 15.6 inches. This is again HP Pavilion on a higher range. And this has now used instead of hard disk drive, smart disk drive. So that's smart of them. And so they have increased 10,000 also for that. Okay. All right. So uh, this is again a gaming laptop, a little bit higher. It will require more of fans. And also it has got various specifications like, you know, system visuals. You've got some lightning keypad and a larger effective outlet size because the cooling fans require a lot of, you know, energy to be released. And so they have taken care of all these things. Which is, it is having a very good specification. Rest is um, if, if you don't want gaming laptops and you just want to stick to your machine learning, deep learning task, then I will recommend you this Asus Vibo book. I will provide the link in the description box. Don't worry about that. 8 GB, 5 and 2 GB provides you with the minimum basic, bare minimum requirements to start with your data science journey, 50,990 bucks. Very, very um, economical laptop for this festive season. And uh, I, I will also give you the link for this. This is no affiliate marketing. You can also go and search it uh, on your own. 
And another thing which I want to tell you is that um, there are other related laptops which you can see here. You can see here Asus. Acer Asus has again launched a range of laptops. But uh, go for the basic requirements if these are meeting. 8 GB RAM, 5 and 2 GB minimum SSD, and you should have 4 GB of uh, your uh, NVIDIA graphics card. Okay. And uh, the processor could be Ryzen. Either you can go for 5, 6, 10 generation or Intel 5 generation, but I would prefer Ryzen. So, yes, um, this is just one left in stock, guys. So, if you, uh, if you can grab it, that's good. Else, say that about back to this Acer Aspire 7 AMD laptop. It's 7 AMD Ryzen 5 Hexa core. It, and the core is Hexa, Hexa that is like sixth core processor and and so the speed and everything would be just tremendous and you can just complete your task in no time i mean this is this is the winner of all which i showed you asa aspire 7 md my choice okay so coming back now and uh just uh, finishing up this and i'll provide all the links of these affordable laptop for your reference and uh, go ahead and watch all these this festive season sale and uh, you really get good offers in these season sales, you know, Diwali season sale. So grab this opportunity, take these laptops, return, do whatever, but buy one laptop. Good laptop for you because it, it, is, it, it really uh, solves and uh, I would say make your life really simple. You can focus on uh, studies more rather than, you know, running for the service stations and uh, repairing your laptop it eats away a lot of energy and effort rather than you know uh, focusing on studies so uh, invest in something really affordable something really good and um, and let nothing come in your way of learning all the best and 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 if you have not uh, watched previous videos then go ahead and please watch it i will provide you can see it at the end screen also and on the card also and um, yeah thank you for watching and um, thank you